Hello, welcome or welcome back. In today's video, we are going to be organizing my craft closet. I don't know what happened, but lately it has become a catch-all for everything that we don't want on the kitchen table. So it just gets thrown into this closet and I just needed to get it organized and tidied up. So let's get to it. bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time it's clear to see from up here the world seems small First, I wanted to start off by taking everything out of the top three shelves of the left side of the closet just because this side of the closet gets the most traffic since it is the side that isn't behind the hallway door and gets open the most and everything just gets shoved in there. It's the side that I wanted for our arts and crafts supplies since it's the most accessible. It's so beautiful, you and me. Meant to be in the great outdoors, forever free. So the table overflowed with things, so this part of the kitchen counter had a few items as well. We're meant to be in the great outdoors, forever free. You and me, meant to be in the great outdoors. And then we have this little welcome home sign that Emmett and I made in April last year when Rachel got home from Guam. On the other side of this closet, it is basically just scrapbooks, photo albums, and old yearbooks. So that side didn't really need as much TLC as this side did, so I didn't take that out quite yet. So now that everything was out of this side of the closet, I just needed to reorganize a little bit and put everything back into its own little areas because I had reorganized this a couple of years ago so naturally it just got messy over time so I was putting a bunch of notebooks in this little crate thing and then I wanted to put everything kind of near like items so that's all I was doing here and then once I had kind of organized things how I wanted them I started to place them back into the closet just to make sure that everything fit before I labeled everything and decided that I didn't need any other organizational tools. Meant to be in the great outdoors forever. Now I was just putting things back into the closet, deciding where it would be the most easily accessible. Since I had the markers and hot glue gun and things that I grabbed on the regular, kind of on the top shelf, and I'm short, so I was trying to see if it would work better to have it down where I could reach it. 
up here is just paints, office supplies, activity supplies, and my paper cutter and clipboard that I use for Emmett's art projects. This little first section behind the bifold door is so hard to figure out what to do with since you can't put any containers really back there. So I was just trying to figure out what would fit best there to use the space most wisely. And these little binders are Emmett's art projects that we do. I'm obsessed with footprint art, so it's kind of sad that he's getting a little big, but it's exciting that he can start helping with projects now instead of just using his foot as a craft for myself. Next, I was just putting this little container that we use for a sensory bin for Emmett, and in the bag is rice. And then these little, what are these called? They're shrinky. You put them in the oven after you use them. I can't remember what they're called. And then this little embroidery thing, I couldn't figure out what to do with. And then on this shelf, I wanted these containers that are full of cardstock and construction papers to be more accessible since we use those almost every other day. And then here is that embroidery container again. I really just don't know what to do with this embroidery thing apparently. And then in these little containers, this one is full of things that need to go into Emmett's baby book, which I need to work on since he's turning two this summer. And then I have a couple that I just need to organize because we have a lot of ticket stubs and pamphlets and things from Japan that I just like to put away because I apparently am a hoarder. <music> So the next day I wanted to use the Cricut to make some labels for all of the containers that were in this closet just so that it's easier to find stuff in case Rachel wants in there just to find something because normally she'll ask if I know where something is and I will have to remember exactly where I put it and tell her which container it's in. So this will just be much easier for us both. Next, I was just putting the finished labels on these smaller containers. So in these ones, I had colored pencils, crayons, extra pens and pencils, note cards, and then Cricut supplies. So, and then once I was all done, I realized that I had forgotten to grab Emmett's window markers from over on the table. So I had to add those labels at another time.
Now that the smaller handheld containers were finished, I was able to move on to these larger containers just to add on the office supplies, the paint, and then in the one below this I have a little Foamimo printer and a Polaroid printer. Just, I don't know where to put them, so I have them in this container along with some miscellaneous items as well. Now I was bringing out these little sentimental bins. So I don't know if other people keep cards like I do, but I keep birthday cards, anniversary cards, and anything that I think I'm gonna need or be sad if I get rid of. So in this container, in these two containers actually, it's cards that we have received from family, and then I have all the receipts and postcards from my trip to Europe when I was a senior in high school 10 years ago and then this took forever. I, I did about a half hour of just looking through cards, seeing what I needed to get rid of and old invites and baby shower invites from friends who are having babies now and just everything that I can't get rid of because I think I'll need it and I can't say goodbye. Next, I just needed to put away more journals and notebooks and then these paints over here and calligraphy set that I had gotten for Christmas a couple of years ago. And I found a puzzle we had done and it was one of those scratch off puzzles, but I ended up wrecking it because I scratched it too hard. So I just needed to throw that away so it stops taking up space. And then I don't know why I have so many little notebooks and journals. I just have a collection. And then down here are those two crates that I was going through full of cards the other day and adding to that as I had found some stuff while I was putting other things away up there. This little container is just full of stuff that needs to go in Emmett's baby book when I get to that. So until then, it's just going to stay a mess in that. And then down here I have my sewing machine. I had this oatmeal thing for Emmett to play in. And then our filing system over there that I had organized along with felt and other sewing things. And I finally found a place for that embroidery set down here next to the sewing machine. And on the second shelf below this, there was a bunch of stuff that needed to be put into the correct containers. So here I'm just putting all of that away and getting it all squared away and organized so you can see the final product.
And then I had made a few labels with the Cricut the other day for the construction paper, the cardstock, the scrapbooking paper, as well as the Cricut. Like a bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see From up here The world seems small We can sit together It's so beautiful You and me meant to be in the great outdoors forever free This closet started out as a whole mess, just a bunch of nonsense not put away or organized. It feels so great to have it all put in its appropriate containers and designated spots. I just wanted this to be a more accessible spot that I can go to when it's time to do our projects with Emmett, as well as when we have our household goods move in about a month or two, that it doesn't feel like such a mess when they're packing it up so that when it gets unpacked and we can put everything away in our new home this summer, that it doesn't feel like we're unpacking boxes of clutter. You and me meant to be in the great outdoors forever Thank you for coming on this journey with me to organize and tidy up my art and craft closet. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, and I hope to see you again next time. Bye!